Hello, hello, welcome back to my channel. This is your April 2021 love reading. You could check for your sun, moon, rising, Venus, your seventh house, and if you're divine masculine, you could check for your Mars placements as well in your astrological charts. I apologize for the delay between my newborn, homeschooling, my oldest one, just being home with the kids in general, and then my workout schedule. It's been a little hectic, all right, but I'm not going to leave you guys hanging, all right? So I appreciate those who have been checking in on me, sending me gifts for the little ones, and also just subscribing to my channel. So welcome to all of the new subscribers, and thank you guys so much for growing this community with me. I love connecting with you guys, all right? So this reading is going to be a little different from how I normally do my readings, okay? I already pre-shuffled all of the cards and I also pulled your charms. So we're going to be looking into what your partner's higher self is saying to you or the person of interest. What do they want to say to you spiritually, okay? We're going to get some spiritual advice, get some romance angels cards to just let you know what energy you'll be experiencing for the month of April. And then we're going to get into the self-care cards as well. So if you feel that this is something that you're interested in, stay tuned. Hello, my lovely Aries. This is your April 2021 love reading. So I already pre-shuffled your cards, as I said before. And the first card that came out about how your person feels about you or the person of interest feels about you is that they still care, okay? And that they would love to try again. And they're kind of hoping that they will run into you. Okay, so this could be somebody that is from your past. Or this could be somebody that you're involved with at the moment. Maybe you guys are at some type of standstill. Or maybe you guys are experiencing some type of distance. Okay, and that they're hoping that they will run into you. If not, this could be somebody from your past who definitely still has feelings for you. They hope that they will run into you. Meaning... They hope that they will see you at the workplace. Or if you guys are living locally, they hope to run into you in town. All right. But they definitely want to try again or give this another chance. Okay. At the bottom of the deck, we have I want marriage. So this could be somebody here who definitely wants to have the end all be all with you. Okay. This is also clarified by caught. So this could be somebody that rather you or you have caught this person cheating or stepping out of the relationship okay but i see despite all of the issues that you guys went through or the issues that you put somebody through um i see that this person still wants to settle down with you okay now we also have affairs and connections so this person or you could have been caught stepping out through social media, through some type of evidence, through social media, all right? But we have opposites attract. So I see that you guys may be very different. Rather, you guys are, you know, two different ethnicities, have two different uh, lifestyles, or just overall have different morals. I see that you guys definitely attract to each other because of your differences, okay? So you could be extremely tall and your partner can be really short. Or, you know, you could have a different skin tone, different skin complexion from your partner. Or, again, have two different upbringings, all right? Two different outlooks, all right? But there's still some type of hope here in your love life, okay? But I do see that there is some type of addictions or this person could be addicted to you or you could be addicted to the person, all right? Just know that rules can be reversed. So I'm just trying to apply it in all different scenarios because I am doing a general reading, right? Now, I see that throughout all of the issues with this accusing and, you know, them jumping to conclusions, it's from a place of love, okay? Because all they see is love, all right? So with your love advice, all right, we have beauty queen and true gem, okay? So this could be, you know, a divine masculine attracting a beautiful woman who's going to be very valuable to you or bring a lot of value into your life. Or this could be simply you embracing all of the aspects of yourself, holding yourself at high regard, and knowing that you're valuable, okay? Now, I see that you could um, be dating or going out on dates with your partner, or if you're single, going out on dates, keeping your options open, okay? I'm also seeing that there was some type of short-term relationship 
that was long distance, okay, you could have been driving back and forth or this person could have been commuting, all right, overseas or they could have been driving back and forth to see you. This is definitely a young male energy, okay? But I see that um, you're going to be experiencing some type of new love with a mature woman or with a woman who has lighter features or blonde hair, okay? This could be somebody who you... Um, plan to have a family with or this could be somebody who has children all right but i do see a courting male it's going to be coming into your life or you could be courting um and trying to settle down with somebody it's destined to happen all right but i do see communication online that has been um a blockage in your relationship some type of open relationship um energy when it comes to communicating online has affected your love life in some sort of way okay now let's get into your Romance Angels cards here. We have codependency. So this is going hand in hand with this addicted card here. Addictions are affecting your love life. Okay, so with this um, codependency, somebody could have some type of addictive personality. They could smoke, drink, or they could also have like a very um, high sexual appetite where they want to experience a lot of sex with other people, okay? We have separation, so time apart from your partner is on the horizon, okay? We have finances and careers, so financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. So this could be the cause of your separation because of somebody having some type of spending issues where they overspend or overindulge in their addictive personality, all right? And then we have new love. A new person has stirred up your romantic feelings. Okay, so again, if you're in a relationship, I see that you could be experiencing some type of new love after having a conflict due to some type of addictive personality or some type of addictive traits, okay? Or, you know, you simply could be separating from your partner. Now, it doesn't mean that you guys could be breaking up or, you know, uh, moving away from each other. It could just simply be like, you know, you guys feeling some type of emotional disconnect, all right? Now, if you're single, obviously, you could be separating with somebody and you could be experiencing some type of financial constraints, okay? Um, and you could be realizing that you have some type of codependency, a hard time letting go of people that don't serve you anymore. And once you realize that you are valuable and hold yourself a high regard, you will attract this new love energy. Okay, but we also have keep an open mind so your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. And this goes hand in hand with the opposites attract. Okay, so it's saying, you know, stay optimistic about your love life. All right, with the nectar of your reading here, we have a few cards that came out, two cards that came out unrevealed. All right, so we have the page of wands. So I see that you're going to be experiencing some type of message coming in okay this is going to be some information coming from a younger fire sign or you could be the younger fire sign in this romantic relationship and you can be conveying you know something that you're enthusiastic about going out somewhere experiencing some new horizons okay i see that you could be traveling all right connecting with family and friends okay going to some type of social gathering all right, or trying to re reunite with a younger fire sign here. Okay, so the two cards that came out unrevealed is the Hermit and Crossing. So right now I see that you could be pulling back your energy. Okay, you could be in some type of meditative state. Okay, you could be having some type of family and friends contacting you to come and um, have a gathering with them. But you're at a place right now where you're trying to um, really focus on building a solid foundation because I see that right now, anything that has not been solid has fallen apart, all right? So I see that you're really hesitant about taking a leap of faith of some sort, and you're really holding back your energy. And this is what's going to bring in a, a lot of abundance and victory and recognition in your love life, all right? Now we're going to get into your self-care cards, okay? We have make an altar, make a vision board, okay? So definitely um, planning a sacred place where you can visually see what you want to manifest okay that can help you with loving yourself that can help you with your overall vision okay we have take a walk 
pleasure so definitely connecting with your body feeling yourself you know caressing yourself that can help boost your confidence okay being more familiar with your body knowing what you like and what you don't like okay we have journal so definitely writing out your goals again becoming very clear on what you want to manifest we have beauty ritual or beauty routine so this is something that you may need to do treat yourself with some extra tlc okay we have connect with crystals so that can also go hand in hand with grounding so going out on a walk taking off your shoes connecting with the earth and getting crystals to help meditate and keep you centered okay so making a meal can also help you as well you know making some amazing food for your loved ones can also help boost your vibration so i'm also hearing that you may need to be more mindful of the foods that you're eating so maybe um, instead of eating processed foods try to be more plant-based okay so we're going to get into your charms and then we're going to close out. So we have a lotus flower here and a tree. So I see that right now, again, you could be grounding, spreading your roots in new uncharted terrains. Okay, so you could be looking for a new apartment. You could be looking for a new home. All right. I also see the lotus flower. So despite all of the issues, I see that you could be really learning how to blossom after being in a dark place okay so i see that you could be rebuilding a solid foundation in your love life all right so the signs that i see in your reading libra cancer capricorn and sagittarius energy we also have virgo energy and scorpio and aries energy so those are the signs that you could be involved with all right I hope this message resonated with you. If you feel that it did, please be sure to like, share, subscribe, and comment. And hit the bell notification down below so you can get notified for when I post new videos. Sending you guys so much love. I look forward to connecting with you. We are divinely connected. Until next time, peace.